Former Boston Red Sox pitcher Kurt Schilling took a stand against cyber bullies who went after his daughter. He was just posting a tweet, basically, or a message online, saying congratulations to his 17-year-old daughter and was sickened by some of the responses by people. Yeah. Um, Mike has more on how he got one guy fired even. Good morning. Yeah, there's repercussions. At least nine people paying a price for what went wow. down. Had a chance to listen to Kurt Schilling and his daughter, Gabby. And you mentioned, let's show everybody the tweet. Innocuous, proud dad tweet. We've all done it. Uh, her name's Gabby. And again, here's the tweet from Kurt Schilling. Congrats to Gabby Schilling, who will pitch for the Salve Regina Seahawks next year. It's a college in Rhode Island. So he's very proud of her. And he said, Robin, one addendum to this, that you know, he expected some kind of smart alecky college stuff from guys. He said he got that. Then he tweeted another tweet saying, I know some guys in Special Forces trying to be funny. That's when the onslaught of vulgarities, talk of rape, and all things that we can't show oh, you that's awful. any of that. That's how bad it got. So Kurt Schilling talked to our colleagues over at CNN about the emotions of a dad as this played out. Here he is. If you're a parent, imagine somebody coming into your house and punching your child hmm. in the face right in front of you. Um, because the, if, when you think about that, those scars are going to heal. That physical stuff will go away. She's going to carry this for the rest of her life. So the lesson is... Uh, you know, accountability. Mm -hmm. I, the, the anonymity of the internet really doesn't exist. Um, there are a few people in this world that can do it, but not many. And this, listen, if you're a parent, you know, Twitter is not uh, some other world. So he was able to um, expose these people how? Well, he basically took some of the vul vulgar tweets, put them on a screen grab on his blog post. So, and, and he out of them individually, so much so, and we mentioned some of the repercussions. Guy going to a community college gets suspended. Guy was doing uh, part time ticket sales for the Yankees gets fired. Wow. And we find out nine people in all actually suffering some specific consequences here because of all this. And what he put on his blog, I, I want to read that because he really lays, puts his foot in the ground or a stake in the ground on this one. He says, If I was a deranged protective dad, I could have been face to face with any of these people in less than four hours. I know every one of their names, their parents, where they go to school, what they do, what team they're on, their position, stats, all of it. I had to do almost nothing to get any of that information because it is all public. And that goes along with what he had to say. The Internet, and, and really it's a warning to everybody. For you who do things like this, you're a troll or a cyber bully, you can be found out. For parents out there, the warning was Twitter, the Twitterverse is not some other world. It is the real world. You better accept it, acknowledge it, and know what's going on uh, as well. And one other interesting note. Gabby was initially upset with dad. For putting a congratulations or for Be outing the people? Because, because she did not see the, initial, the, the bad stuff. She oh, saw some of the... kept it from her. Yeah, some of the smart alecky stuff. And then when she knew how bad it was, it was like, go dad. And her final tweet was, don't know what I would do without you. Aww. I love you so much. So that, that's the way this played out. Because you get back to dad and daughter, which you don't have to be a major league baseball player to understand that. Certainly wish her a lot of luck, too, when she does go to college yes. then and, and pitches for that team. All right, Mike, thank you. Mm -hmm.